So today will be my last video that I will upload for Vlogmas and I just kind of wanted to share the highs and lows of 2021 for me personally. Of course, the, the high was reconciliation with my son and being able to have my grandson back in my life, which is why I wanted to go ahead and end Vlogmas as he's expected to come tomorrow and I definitely want to dedicate all of my time to him and spend time with him and not have to upload content and the other thing may not seem like a big high to some people but i think just actually trying to gain some normalcy from 2020 and just being able to eat at a restaurant was a big high for me getting out of the house because i work from home and i'm here 24 7. so i was thankful for that and being able to travel those were the highs for me the lows for me, obviously, was losing my mom this year. That was the hardest part of 2021 for me. But again, as I mentioned before, I trust God and, and for everything that is meant for bad, God will turn it into good. And, and I have a lot of peace in my heart more than I think I had before and there's just a lot of foundational background to that that I really can't share but I'm, I'm thankful that she's with the Lord and so even though it's, it's, it's a low for me for 2021 there's just not anything else that can even come close to being a low for me in that aspect and so I hope you guys enjoyed Advent I did enjoy going through the scriptures every day and for the last 20 days it's almost like I would read it and upload it and then watch it again later and it definitely it definitely has an effect on you when you remember what the Christmas season is really all about and it's about Jesus and the remembrance of Jesus being born during this season 2,000 years ago. And so I like to keep that at the forefront of this time of the year and also for Easter, Resurrection Sunday. And what's especially important for me is the everyday. And no matter what you're going through in life, always take at least five minutes to dedicate to the Lord. Every morning I wake up and I share a scripture on my Facebook page and I try to read through some prayers that other people have uploaded. And I really feel like I went through a season of not being able to pray. And I really don't know where that came from, but in 2022, I really want to focus on getting the fire back in my prayer life because prayer is so important. And I do lead prayer for our work meetings. And somehow I say that I struggle with prayer, but somehow my little Holy Spirit always seems to come through during those times and just uh, ignites a fire in others. And, and that's amazing for me because I want to be able to be that for other people and I just feel like devoting more time and effort to getting back to where I started because I remember my goodness when I first was baptized I was so on fire for the Lord. I was saved in 2009 and so it's been 12 years. It was 12 years this year. And so I always pray to mature in the Lord. I definitely want those spiritual gifts from God. And he has blessed us so immensely. But I definitely want more of the spiritual riches in life. And I'm thankful for everything that we have. Definitely blessed beyond measure. And he has been so good to me and my family. And even though I enjoy vlogmas and uploading every day, it can be taxing and it takes a lot of effort. And sometimes when you're in the midst of the day to day, you try not to share too much or show too much. And sometimes, you know, things get uploaded that you look at later and you're like, oh, no, I didn't mean for that to show or, you know, so 
it's there's always that and I commend people who go through the whole month of Vlogmas from the 1st through the 31st and vlog every day but for me that's just not something that I want to do this year simply because I want to spend time with my grandson but I just want to thank you for spending the days of Vlogmas that you did with me and I tried really hard to upload content that you all would enjoy as I'm looking at 2022 I don't foresee that I'm going to be uploading as much as I have this whole year I have uploaded at least three times a week for the past two years actually for the past three years I'll be starting my fourth year on YouTube next year and I just want to cut back a little bit especially since I want to I want to get back into my prayer life and I think there's other areas of my life that I definitely want to enrich and spend time with and I have a new grandson that I hope I'll be able to see more of. The distance is really hard for them and for us and our work schedules don't allow us to be down a whole lot. I have seen different needs in my father now that he is a widow and so there's there's just a lot going on that wasn't going on before. In 2022 I do pray for better relationships because I feel like that's a place where I can improve not just in my work life but in my personal life and so that's what I foresee coming and I'll still do the fashion videos I'm sure I'll still do unboxings and I'll do a lot more I just don't want it to I just don't want to feel like I have to put out content I definitely want to put out content that you'll enjoy I know I get more views on luxury items. I'm not a luxury channel though. I'm not the type of person that's gonna buy a luxury item every, although it seems that way. <laughs> it seems that way sometimes, but I'm really not that person that is a luxury addict or anything like that. I like Louis Vuitton, I like Gucci, I like buying different items, but that's not what my channel's about. I feel like I'm more eclectic when it comes to my channel because I do a lot of different things. I mean, sometimes I show you guys the two dishes that I know how to cook and prayer and day-to-day -day life. And, and as I mentioned, there are some luxury items that I incorporate into my channel, but definitely not a luxury channel. And so as I'm looking to 20, 22 some of the changes I will not make is you don't have to worry about watching my videos in front of your kids there will never be anything unwholesome that I would say randomly and so I'm very conscientious and very protective over my channel in that aspect and so yeah so Merry Christmas and I wish you a happy new year a prosperous 2022 <laughs> and so um yeah that's amazing that it went by so quickly i can't believe that i'm sitting here and it's it's already the 20th of the month i mean it's it's amazing to me that the year came and went so fast and so many things happened that i didn't share uh in our personal lives um, transitions that happened and, and decisions we had to make and there was just a lot going on in that realm and so I'm looking forward to closing out this year I'm praying that our nation will heal and I pray that we will heal emotionally mentally and I feel like I get this this anxiety when I'm around a lot of people and I know a lot of that is just being at home for the past two years and not really getting out and so I'm looking forward to living fearlessly and getting out and just living life, just living life to the fullest. God gave us freedom and he paid a really big price for it. And so I'm not going to surrender it easily. And so I'm thankful for him for, for that and for my salvation. And so please take some time to give thanks to the Lord for all that we have endured good or bad and different we're here and 
who knows what the next year will hold. But if we commit our lives to him, then it's going to go as perfectly as he ordains it to be. Because if anybody wants the best for us, if anybody's going to fight for us, if anybody is going to be there for us, it's the Lord. And so, oh, before I forget, I did get a $50 gift card at our Christmas party. And I also, I also got a gift certificate to a memorabilia, memorabilia, a memorabilia shop that I'll probably re-gift to my husband because <laughs> there's not any memorabilia, memorabilia, uh, why do I have trouble saying that? Memorabilia, man. Alexa, how do you say memorabilia? I pronounce that Columbia, but I'm always working on how I say things and I might not have it right. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next year. Bye. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Right.